Hey everyone, it's uh, Termo here again, and we're gonna continue our White Beard Showcase. And this time we have three games. We have two games against a Red Luffy player, and then we have one game against the Mirror. So if you're looking for some tips on how to pilot that Mirror, make sure that you watch that last game as well. Uh, we don't see a lot of Red Luffy, so I wanted to showcase that matchup as well because it's very fun and very aggressive. This is our list. Again, we kind of stole this idea from Cross AI by having the four shoppers while still playing pure white beer. So hope you enjoy the games coming up soon. And if you do, make sure to like it below and subscribe to us. We post One Piece videos every single day. Enjoy the games. In this match, we're going against Luffy. Okay, so it's going to be very aggressive. Ah. Oh. It's very aggressive. I don't have my curve. I think I'm gonna mulligan. I really like having the Marco, but I think I have to look for my curve. We didn't get the uh, we didn't get the uh, Atmos anyway, so this is gonna be kind of annoying. Regardless, right? I think I'll take this one. Yeah, we didn't get the Atmos regardless, so we'll take it. Uh, we'll go for eight. Just push damage. We'll go Tatch next turn, at least have this big unit, and there we go. The Atmos was a card away. Uh, we took the first hit, so this new gate looks a little bit dicey here. Opponent's going to go for a full A. I guess we'll give you the Machina plus the Atmos at this point. We could have gone for the Red Hawk, right? We had the Red Hawk available. That probably was better. That probably was better than what we did. Yeah, it had to be the Red Hawk. It had to be the Red Hawk, because now... Now I'm not able to block enough. I'm not able to block enough, so I'm going to take that life. I play. I, I countered too quickly, so I didn't think about potentially Red Hawk value. We'll give you the 1k. Okay, so the opponent gets a blocker. We're able to play this Marco into the blocker. Have the two down for the Red Hawk and another down for something else. It can go 7 here. And then go eight. So we have this Red Hawk. Uh, opponent has so much value here. They can give one of this. They can give both of these guys minus two. I'll let you have it. I'll let you have it. I want to have this new gate, right? So I want to have this new gate here. Um. Let's let's force him to attack more into this. Let's force him to attack more into this Tatch. Like, do I need? I think I need to have this Tatch staying alive. So that's two done there, two done there. We can Red Hawk and kill one of these Robins. Opponent can go all eight done. Okay, they're just gonna go a second jet pistol. Do we go for their life? I think we can just go for, like, am I scared of them killing us next turn? I think we just go live. I am kind of scared, but I, I have an 8k and I have a bunch of counters. Perfect. So I think I like going live here. We do have this ace, so we can, we have ace and Luffy, so we still have a way to kind of get there. We can take this live with the shanks and be okay. Because that's the only attack that the opponent gets. So opponent doesn't have any blockers. Only has two cards left. Only has two cards left. We have to win this turn. So if we go, if we go Luffy. So Luffy's five done. And that's six, six, and ten. So seven, seven, that is me with three done. Eight, eight, nine, and ten. I think we go like this. I think we go eight. Because that beats the guard point. So opponent has to have guard point plus something else. I think we go nine. And then we go ten. That's the best possible way that I can see us winning this, right? Yep. <laughs> exactly enough, huh? We have to go for it that way, right? We have to go for it that way. That was the best use of our Dawn. Um, let's mulligan this. Don't have the curve. Okay, we get the Amos and we get the ESO. So this looks even better already. So we can go ESO here. Uh, let's just grab this Tatch and just have, the, have our curve out. 
So let's just let's just have ourselves curve out here. So the opponent gets this guy here. Uh, do we take that? Why did we just play Marco this time? Uh, why did we just? We know the opponent has blockers. I'm gonna actually give them the Marco. I'm gonna give them the Marco here. Just play this Atmos afterwards. I need to watch out for a jet pistol. So the opponent gets to attack for seven. I'll give you the 2k counter as well if you want to give it to us. We can play this Tatch. We first want to attack here to make sure that we're not losing to a jet pistol trigger. Opponent gets to give this minus 2k. We'll go like this. Get another Atmos. So they get to give both of these 2k. And then could have a jet pistol for the Tatch as well as kill the Atmos. No, nope, they just go for Soro. They get the 2k here finally. You, I'll let you take it. Ah, uh, six, six. Yeah, I'll take that one. They get their blocker. We don't have the other Marco anymore. We could play. We don't want to play Ace. We we need to play this Marco, right? So I think I want to play this Marco, which leaves me with four Don. We have to have Don for the guard points. So that leaves me with two. I guess we don't need to play the guard points just yet. We could just go Atmos and go like that. We could go Marco and Atmos and call it a day. I'm still concerned about this Brook. Just minusing my card. So maybe we try to kill it this turn. I think this I think this brook is giving them too much value. Yeah, so they're gonna go ahead and block it. We're gonna go like this, gonna go like this, end the turn. Can we die this turn? Potentially. We kept ourselves with no don't open. Right? Opponent chose to go after Tatch instead though. They could have a way to kill this with the Vista, yeah. So uh, we go like this and give up the ace. Or just say cancel. I guess we'll cancel for now. I did forget about the Vista, so I needed to give them that blocker right away, right? I don't think I'm winning this anymore because I go down to no life next turn and then all we have is just an ace. So we go down to no life next turn. Again, that's why I wanted to kill that Brook. Yeah, I need to keep everything else. I need to keep everything else. There's no way for us to commit lethal. They get another blocker as well. Okay, I, I guess we have our own blocker at least. So that's better than nothing. So we could go like ace right here. And just go like this. It makes it so that the opponent cannot just block. Right? Uh, let's go Amos first. Again, just to play around a Jet Pistol trigger. Opponent just takes all this life. Opponent just takes all this life, right? They have way too many attackers next turn. We go Chopper. We have double guard point. And a couple of 2Ks. Next turn, we win the game if we can stay alive. Putting this guy at another blocker to play that that uh that bad manners, right? So they're putting this guy at another blocker to play that bad manners. Um I kind of scale this chopper dying, but I also feel like it's not correct for me to give them the guard point just yet. So I think I'm just gonna go like this. We have this guard point still, right? So we can go. So, okay, so if we block here, opponent could have 8 Dawn, 9, uh, 10, 11. Let's just block here. Let's play around a second Vista. They could have another, like, it doesn't matter if they have another Rush Sorrow, right? This this is just game. Yeah, this doesn't matter. You, you always lose here. All right, so. Woo! Woo! Lucky. Okay, so three, car uh, three cards left. Let's play around the Jet Pistol again. So let's go ahead and go like this first. Seven. So seven, um, nine, I guess. Nine. And then the rest. Oops. 
Even if the opponent has a bad manners, it doesn't matter. And that's the game. All right. So we got two games against Luffy here, uh, which is pretty good. That that was that was about nine minutes of content. These games went very quick. So let's go ahead and have another game. So the last game is going to be against Whitebeard. So a mirror against the Whitebeard. So hope you enjoy that game. In this match, we're going up against the mirror. And unfortunately, we lost the die roll. But opponent still chose to go first. What? What? Okay. Um. I really like the touch. I really like the touch and the ace. And we have the ace so in our hand. So I think I can keep this hand, right? I think I can keep this hand. Opponent's playing the straw beer version of, of white beer. That's so weird that you would choose to go first in this mirror. You always want to go second in this mirror, by the way, because it lets you play your cards on curve, right? Uh, unfortunately, we don't get the Atmos. We do get this new gate, though, and I really like the new gate in the mirror. I really like the new gate in the mirror. It can be so powerful. We don't have a, t a play for turn for the next turn, but still going to be very important because once we get this new gate down, if they it's gonna be like a big 20k attacker into the opponent. We know they have sand in their hand. And now we know they have. What are you picking, my friend? Okay, so guard point. So guard point and Sanji. Let's keep that in the back of our head for later. We're probably not gonna see either of those cards until much later into the game. You know what? I'm done to give them the guard point right now. I have the done open. I have the don't open and I really had nothing else and I, I could do this turn, right? Like we said, we, we can in a situation where um sure, let's just go for 10. Let's just make sure that we take that hit out of them. Yeah, unfortunately we didn't get our curve, right? Next turn, we could go ESO or we could go Tatch. I think it's probably better to just go Tatch in case, because if we don't hit the Marco here, we saw one Marco already get bottom deck on the first search where we picked the White Beer. Uh, so I think it obviously doesn't make sense. I really don't want to give them a 2K here, but I don't think I have a choice. I could take this, and next time we have six down, we're down to two life. Then on our eight down, we're going down to one life. If I take this now, I'm gonna have to defend the next hit for sure so that we can get to the nine cost new game with just uh with the done active, right? So I think I have to go for touch, right? We go for six and go for touch and just have this big body as well. One is gonna give me their blocker, we'll go touch, we'll pass, and now we have to defend, right? So we're gonna have to defend both of these attacks. And then we can go ace maybe. If the opponent goes their own ace here, it will mean we spend a lot more counters, but so we'll be at eight. We can go ace and chopper if necessary. I'm gonna give them this 1k now. I didn't wanna give the ESO up, but I think at this point it's okay to do it. Yeah, they go for their Marco. Um and Fosa. Okay, so. We still probably want to hit their life so that we don't get punished by their by their own new gate. But maybe we don't have to rest my units, right? We could also just kill this Atmos right now. Maybe killing Atmos is correct as well. Yeah, we can go like this. And just go sit here. I don't want to rest. I do not want to rest both of my units here. Like, okay, let's say that they have the new gate. If they have new gate next turn, we just play new gate after that and we should be okay. Let's uh, let's put the eight here. I'm going to rest the attach, but not rest the ace. Just eat up that blocker. And just play my own blocker and pass the turn. So even if they have their own ace here. It's really just Tatch that's going to be vulnerable, and Tatch still going to be a 5k. And the ace doesn't go down to like a 4k. We still have a blocker. We go for new game next turn and have it done to play another shopper if necessary. Yeah, if you're going to give that to me, I'm just going to block it. Like, you should know what I have in my hand, right? So. Yeah, 
there's their new gate, right? So there's their new gate. We can give them this blocker because he's gonna die to the new gate next turn, anyways. I guess that's one thing, right? Maybe okay, so maybe we keep the blocker so that we can block that new gate attack next turn, right? Well, if we have both blockers, we can definitely do it. I think I like that. I think I like that. I think I'm going to keep the double blockers. So that way, the only way that the opponent can actually punish us is if they have, um, if they actually have a freaking, uh, a, a, another Marco, right? Now, for this Marco, we can try to kill that Marco here. To get an event out of their hand. Or get some counters. No reason for us to hit their life because they are 8k, right? Do I attack with the Tachi? here? Yeah, probably, right? I don't want to attack with the Ace, but attacking with the Tachi is fine because both the Tachi and the New Gate are both 8k. Whoever plays the White Beer second should have the advantage here because the opponent's going to lose their life next turn naturally. I'm still going to have my life. See? Okay, so this is what I was going for, right? I'm trying to get those counters out of their hands, so we go ahead and do it one more time. Maybe we do go ahead and attack with this Ace. Yeah, maybe we go ahead and attack with this ace anyways. Force another 2k counter. Okay. And now, one of the shoppers gets killed by the new gate ability. We have one life, so even if the opponent has a Marco and does the new gate to kill another shopper, we can still take that one life and still be okay. And if the opponent doesn't have their own blocker here, and even if they do, we have our own new gate, so the opponent will have to have two blockers. Uh, they have Ace. So now their Marco blocker doesn't exist. It has to be exactly a blocker that's going to die to this new gate. So yeah, you get your Ace and you get to kill both my, my units. But I think you just lose to the new game next turn, right? I'm trying to think. So we could actually save one of these guys. No, well, can we? Yeah, we could save it. So... Opponent has three done open. Let's say that they have Radical Beam, Garpoint, and Garpoint, right? So that's going to be four, seven, ten. So this can go up to 16. This guy will be 20. So that still will have to have exactly two 2k counters plus something else. And then we have another attack with our new get within the game. So we just need to save our units here, right? We just need to save our units and we're okay. So we can counter out of this one. These are five. Yeah, so we can go like this. We can go no blocker. As soon as we... No matter what, we're going to have the, the leader attack as well. So, again, four. So, let's go 10, 13, 16, 18, 20. And that has to be another 1k or a 2k just for them to say, to survive the, the new gate. So, the new gate attack by himself will take all their dawn all their cards and then that will still leave a leader hit to attack for six right um so we let this go opponent still has this is seven this is five like it doesn't really matter right i mean what we can do is we can force him to put those two down on the new gate to try to kill here right because if they don't put the two down on the new gate i just block with the shopper so now it's even worse for them because now they only have one done open. So at most, all I have to worry about is Radical Beam. One done and no blockers. And we just go like this. And I don't care what you have. You just, you just die anyways. Yeah, he's got point, not even the Radical Beam. And they can only get up to, what, like 17, 19, right? Even if they had all 2k counters, which they didn't. So... This is one of the reasons, like, going second in the mirror is so good because it lets you play at your curve better. Like, we had to play that touch on turn, on, on turn three when we had six down. We didn't have the Atmos to play it on turn two when we have four down. But still, you know, we were in a good spot. It also lets me play the new gate second. So, put and play their new gate right away on, when they had nine down. And then I just play my new gate right after when I have ten down. And we still able, like, whoever plays the new gate second ends up getting an advantage over the person who doesn't. So, yeah. This is why I like the pure white beer better, because I think it's a little bit better into the mirror. So, yeah.
GG's. Hey, welcome back everyone. Hope you enjoyed those games of against Luffy and then that game against Whitebeard. Really fun matchups, really quick against the Luffy. The Whitebeard mirror is all about it's all about who goes second, really, because you get to just play your cards out on curve. I definitely think the pure the pure Whitebeard Pirates is a lot better into the mirror than the Straw Hat version. So that's why I kind of want to play this because I expect to see a lot of Whitebeards in the regional that I'm gonna be participating on, on Saturday. So Hope you enjoyed today's showcase. If you did, make sure to like the video below and subscribe to us. We post One Piece videos every single day. We'll have one more video of Whitebeard tomorrow before we move on to another leader. So hope you enjoyed the day and I'll see you again tomorrow.